Hello and welcome. Um, this is uh, Channel UTM and uh, it's a tutorial based research channel. Um, and <clears throat> today we will be looking at Dion. Now, this is a bit of an experiment. I'm going to try and do a shorter uh, video um, just to see how it goes. So I'm timing myself on this. Um, okay, this is Dione, and this is the uh, file thing on the NASA Photojournal site. Um, now you can see up here I've got uh, a few stuff. We'll see how far we get, I'll see what the time is like, and uh, we'll take it from there. Now, Dion is um, a Saturn moon, and um, it's pretty, oh look, there we go, um, 698 miles diameter, so um, pause it, have a read, um, nice to have a bit of information about what we're looking at, and this is the my favourite so far, I think. Um, the mission logo. So, um, this is the image we're going to be looking at. Um, very low in quality, but um, I'm having great success with these images. Now, these are crazy. Um, this is the image. Um, as you get it, 1.5 coming. I'm not sure about the size. I've said this before, but I think it's my computer um, bumping it up as an XCF file in GIMP, which um, I think just generally enlarges it straight away. So anyway, very low quality. There's a pixelation. Um, now these, there's a few images I've got, and these are everywhere, and this looks uh, very odd indeed. So um, I thought I'd have a look. These were in some old files of mine. Um, and I forgot how incredible this place is. Um, and I've been talking about the design of stuff as well, because we're getting into multiple um, moons and planets now, um, we're noticing uh, the repetition of stuff and the difference in the um, structural design. Um, it's interesting, it would, if you think, if you got, say, the Russians to build something and the Japanese to build something, the designs would be completely different you would presume anyway, so um, you can look at it like that. Um, so this point of the channel, um, well even before I started, but um, for those of you who are new to this and stuff, um, it's not a question of if there is structures and buildings on various planets and stuff it's now a question of uh, who's building them um, for me anyway so yeah uh, uh, okay right so let's let's get into it um, I'll just show you quickly on here because these images before you do anything apart from maybe um, some uh, basic adjustments here you can see it's brightness and contrast if I just do that um, you can see immediately that uh, it looks very different very different indeed um, and apologies for people who are using phones and stuff um, I have said before that you really need a big screen to look at this stuff so I'll try and get these images as big as possible um, 
I was thinking, yeah, yeah on your PC, but um, the phone is now everyone's personal computer. Most people didn't have a, really have a personal computer. It's, uh, it's now it's now phone. Your phone is your personal computer. So, um, but as you can see from the raw image, just with brightness and contrast, um, it's looking very strange indeed so let's just have a, another quick look here um, there is some information um, um, well darker areas accumulate in areas of low typography lower slope um, the, the reason I say that is because what I um, do to the images, which I'll explain, and they, they they do end up looking more confusing. But the closer you get into the image, the more details you can get out, um, and that's what I'm interested in doing: is getting as much as these anomalies into the picture as possible, and what it can do. Um, is it can flatten the image out you can lose the the shadows and stuff and things but this is what we have to deal with if we want to see exactly what is going on on these uh, on these moons and planets so as I just said um, you can see the difference with the depth and the um, the shadows and stuff and things but what I do with the research if you're unfamiliar have a look at the other videos as well because there's lots of information and the reason that they are um, long in, in running time is because I demonstrate the research in action and it is something which takes a very long time to do saying that I can do it a lot quicker now so, um, uh, there you go. So, where are we? Right, yeah, so all these lighter areas, as you can see from the difference, um, they're reasonably light anywhere, but, uh, anyway, but you have to, um, with the tools which were explained in the other videos and, um, not so much in the tutorial i've got to do that one i did say i was going to do that so um i will be doing that featuring um very dark images and very light images and which way around to do it there are various ways but uh i'll explain so this is the image so i think um we'll start up here So, like I've explained before, because we're dealing with very low quality images, you have to give yourself time to adjust to the blurriness, um, the low quality really. None of us are used to looking at these images and um, if you want to understand what's going on in the image, you have to give it time. So I, would, I can't help it, I just start straight away, I'm off, I can see stuff. So, um, what I suggest you doing is um, just pausing it and uh, trying to take it in. Um, like I've mentioned before, uh, you have to realise that the there is a an angle um, which you're viewing this from so you're going to see tops and sides and fronts uh, you'll see shadows um, and once you can decipher those um, then you'll start understanding the the, uh, the shapes and forms and um, evaluating them basically 
so if I just um, refer to this again uh, they look like uh, craters there is a small description um, that they're ice walls um, just let me see if it's there's something in here um, this is another image jot the numbers down go and have a look if you are doing this yourself um, uh, it has a yeah they're saying it's got a striking service uh, okay maybe uh, this is another one as well they're all extremely worth looking at I'll do as many as I can if not I will just I'll mix it up and I'll put them out there and hopefully um, they don't run into the hour and a half plus um, if they do they do that, that, that's it um, let's not let's not worry about that so let's get back to this like uh, like I was uh, talking about the 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 reason why I show you the um, research in real time is that it gives you time to adjust to the to what you're seeing um, and what I'm seeing so once you you tune in with um, the area in question you will start noticing the which I'm finding quite amazing on this because there is amazing detail coming out of these very low quality images um, which I'm very surprised about now this, if you're new, this might just look like a complete mishmash at the moment. But when you're doing the research, to get the detail out, you have to get very close into it. Then you pan back out and things condense visually and uh, you can make more, more sense of it. And uh, basically, I'm here to show you how to do this yourself. There's no, there's no tricks. There's no nothing. It's simply, if you're intrigued enough, to find out um, what is going on, then you can very easily do this yourself. So if you do have doubts, I will stop you and say, do this yourself and I guarantee you'll come back with a completely different set of questions. So let's, let, let's focus a little bit more. Difficult to describe what you're actually looking at because it is, shall we say, alien. Um, one of Saturn's moons. I'm not drawing anything. Um, it is explained in the videos. Uh, the tools are not designed for that. They're designed for literally darkening and lightening um, those various pixels in the image so I can enhance them, pull them out um, <clears throat> to reveal what's going on it's that simple so So I'm presuming this is what they call one of the ice walls. 
And if we refer back to this again, <clears throat> they look like uh, craters um, all over the place sort of thing. But I'll show you that, um, I mean, these look very plain. Um, but if you're working with the tools, um, uh, how, how I've uh, described or will be instructing you, there is a lot of instruction in the in the, the other videos. Um, you can work the light area. Sorry, I nearly forgot what I was talking about then. Um, and you'll find detail on it. If you look here, you can slowly see the details coming out. So I'll try and give you some different... That's that's the uh, more or less the whole image there. But if we look at these sections here, can work on this level, but it's not as precise. So as we've seen with uh, many other places, <clears throat> especially the moon, um, is everywhere basically. Um, there are, there is a connecting um, systems of sorts um, to what they are exactly we can only theorize really um, but it all looks connected so if we look at this bit here we can see it's coming out over down and you can basically follow follow this through from here. Hold on a sec. Pause button's brilliant. So let's have a closer look at that area. So all you really need to do is just study the image and see what you can decipher. You know, and the, the brain will automatically um, go to familiar shapes. not all the time um, that you find uh, stuff just blatantly looking at you um, but on these images uh, it's much e much easier I think I worked on all these three uh, yesterday um, some good hours involved but uh, nothing nothing like uh, the the photographs you get especially the more recent photographs you get um, where you can more or less see see nothing in the image you have to actually spend a long time pulling the information out So, following this through, I've tried 
try to make them a little bit more prominent so your eye will follow them. But as you're following them, just see what you can see leading off it, um, attached to it. Um, This doesn't look very icy to me. And as I've uh, explained in other videos, how, how to uh, look in the dark areas um, of an image. And you can find lots of hidden things sometimes more and more more revealing than the the actual surface the ground level as you would as you would call it because um, they can get missed in the pre-editing where are we at 20 minutes already You know, so people say you're not looking, you're not looking uh, for natural formations um, of sorts. But a lot of this stuff, until recently, um, is very built into the terrain. Has a very organic feel. Um, because we can't necessarily, well, we, we can't get as close as we want. Um, to really see what's going on. But these, all the way through this section here is... Uh, Quite amazing. Okay. So this is very unusual looking. Um, don't know how to describe it, really. And I uh, don't really, haven't got any idea of um, any scaling if we if I do get time to look at another one um, I might just leave it at this one um, we can sort of guesstimate some scaling on it um, but it is a small moon you have to remember that I was actually just going to Yeah. Now this has a. If, if you've seen the other videos, I talk about the makeup of the image and how different it you get. Um, they generally they're all blurred, but you get heavier blurred areas, and then you get areas which have a different uh, makeup. And this is down to, well, from what I can work out, it's not always the case. Um, because it probably isn't. Um, there's things being done to it uh, 
prior different areas been worked on in different ways as so well. I think that they may be um, worked on in the same in images worked on in layers, <clears throat> possibly, and uh, cut up and stuck together. It's it's it's, it's camouflaging. Did have a look into. I was going to show you some stuff about camouflage and how it how it works, but it's quite self-explanatory, really. The idea of uh, camouflaging. I was saying earlier, it's a surprising amount of uh, detail we can get out of this. And while you're following me doing this, I'd be surprised if you can't start making sense out of uh, what is appearing. You have to think of it on you know it can be like oh, what am I seeing, what am I seeing, what, what is it, what is it you know this is a Saturn moon But just taking the uh, the shapes, the shadows, you know, work out how it's lying on the surface. So that area there would be the top of something, and again, a very familiar dome. Uh, we see domes or spires or towers. Uh, and um, So like I was saying with these areas, they're very bleached out, but the more work you do on them, the more details you can see appearing. So this looks like it comes over here. So weird looking.
another arky bit. Looks like it's going up and over. area we're going to move to in in a minute oh uh, which is different to any of the, the other part of the image i've been, i've we've looked at this stuff before um on how it looks like it has very low pixelation um or a pixel makeup very low count which makes things look very blocky um like here but i've done some work on this and the more i worked on it in relation to the rest of the image which doesn't show any of this um i think this is how it actually is which takes us back to the pluto update i just did with the very um block cube like structures which were humongous um, so that's that's another thing you have to take into account the, the actual scale of this stuff in relation to so up the quality of the image and, and talking about pixels and things <clears throat> it's very difficult to do because you know, you know unless you've studied this sort of thing for years and years and years it's uh it's so unfamiliar. Um, because the brain actually, uh, in relation to what you're used to, works in a certain scale. You know, I can imagine if you were, um, I've never been there, but if you went to the Grand Canyon, for example, you s we've all seen it in pictures and stuff, but when you're actually there, I imagine you'd be awestruck and, you know, amazed by the sheer scale of the thing and stuff. So, and that's because you're not familiar with it. So it's sort of like you have to train your brain to sort of work in a very simple way, discarding all the details of sort which complicate the way you think. And then it becomes a lot easier to understand this stuff. Don't get me wrong, it just blows me away. Constantly. So, like I was saying, this, I believe, is quite a good representation, I'm presuming, of how it's actually structured. So yeah, so these, um, in here as well, I've been trying to find, and they do, in a few places, I obviously haven't done a huge amount of work on this image, but um, I'm looking for things that maybe um supports 
to these things because they're <clears throat> they look like they're floating see that's two side by side this is the side area the down area this is underneath Are these areas we're seeing here? Are they supporting? And that will help you um, get a better idea of what you're looking at. <clears throat> so look at that as like a bridge and these are the supports underneath it and that should make sense to you visually then There's a few areas in this image, like here, up here, this, and there's that, and that, and I don't really know what they are. We can have a closer look, but they're definitely a very odd pixel anomaly if, uh, if there was going to be one. You see the difference in the makeup. Different things going on here. That's very strange. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of details in here. I'm amazed. See, this comes across here and, we, and it looks like it comes down. This is underneath this section or slightly in front of it. don't think we're going to have time to look at any of the other the other ones but that's cool I will make I will do some uh, vids with them because they need looking at they're uh, it's uh, more evidence So we can see, see that's, uh, that's quite interesting. So all these dark areas will, will have something to, uh, to show or hide, however you look at it. If you are trying this out, I recommend these images. They're 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 brilliant. Every aspect of the uh, the uh, methods I've shown, um, you can apply to this. Quite 
quite incredible. Okay, right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop that. Um if I carried on it would I reckon I could easily do a couple of hours on these three images. Um but I'm gonna break it up a bit. See how you like it. It's still I'm still knocking forty five minutes I think. So um but it's just the nature. have to show um, people how this is done and how to view these images so let me know what you think um, brilliant thank you for tuning in if you have and I will be back with loads more um, as soon as um, and as always, thanks very much. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.